Konnichiwa, watashi wa Natali des. De Natalog e yokoso. Kyo wa Nihon de Katama no omise shimas. In case you couldn't tell by the intro, I went to Japan this June, and I know it's been a minute since I did a video about it, but we're gonna start with the haul. But this haul is gonna be mostly craft supplies and a few other things I picked up along the way. So, first thing I got, I got this at the dollar store uh, called Daiso. Um, this is shrink plastic for shrink, uh, like you shrink, you heat it up in the oven and it shrinks down and makes cool looking things. And they even have English instructions on the back, which is nice. This is actually a purse frame. And I was, at first I wasn't gonna buy this one because it's really big, but I was inspired by this backpack iteration. So I was like, we gotta try it. This is from Yuzawaya, which is the bag I am holding. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, this store called Tokyo Hands is amazing. It's a, they have a lot of these craft lifestyle stores. So not only did they have craft supplies, they had bath products, they had suitcases and travel items. And then I think they may have had a few clothing items and accessories here and there. Awesome place. Um, so from here I got um, a, this is my receipt. <laughs> I got a, a buttons, a button maker. You can make these with resin. So I'm very excited to give this a try. So um, I'm really obsessed with resin crafting, even though I don't get to do it all the time. And so these are star shaped bezels for resin crafting. See, this is gonna be random haul, not just craft supplies. I got this super adorable floral choker situation from this amazing store called Wego. It's kind of like an upscale forever. It's not even, I can't even compare it with Forever 21, but it's like trendy, affordable, like teen to like young adult um, store. Another purse frame that I got. I also got this from Yuzawaya and this is just a smaller one. I'm very excited because Annika Victoria did a tutorial and she went to Yuzawaya and got this and I was like, I'm going to Yuzawaya, come. So there's this, I think it's actually a Dutch, or it's, it's not a, a Japanese brand, but there's this store called Flying Tiger and they sell a bunch of random things that you like don't need for an extremely cheap amount of money. So I found these little rolls of like vinyl, fabric and I'm going to use them in some cool DIY coming soon. So I just, I love these. I think they're so cute and precious. And they were like really cheap, like like about three American dollars a piece or less. I honestly don't know, but really affordable. But there is this oversensitory drugstore. I don't even know the name of it because it's in Japanese, but I will put the little logo that is, um, that it has on the side of the screen because it's very oversensitory. Loud music, stuff everywhere and they had like a very huge sign and it was bright, really bright lights. But this is like one of those candy makers. So you remember like the pop, popping cooking? This is kind of like that, except it makes candy. And um, my friend bought one and we made, she made hers already, but I'm going to do a little video making mine. These are, I don't know, I, I think I got these on, at Yuzawaya on like their little clearance rack. Uh, these are some just, some like plain little uh, beads. So I thought they were pretty. Oh, so this is from Daiso. Uh, and these are from, this is all from Daiso right here. Um, these are, this is like elastic beading thread. As you can see, it says it in English. And these are some more beads, just really pretty. And they were a hundred yen each, which is about like a, li a little less than a one USD. This, if anyone has ever done like lino cut printing, these are lino cut blocks. And the reason I got them in Japan is because in America, they don't want to sell them down here anymore. So I was like, well, okay. I saw them in Japan. I was like, gotta pick them up. Also, I think it's really nice that they also have included English instructions on here. Very awesome. This is a, I kind of forgot I bought this, um, but a silicone mat. So for um, a, like the star bezels that I showed you earlier, you put them on a silicone mat when you put the resin in them so the resin doesn't get on the table or anything. Um, so you, this is what you use it for. Or you can just use it if you're like, like a small space crafting, you don't wanna mess up your space because it's easy to clean. Okay, so resin cleaner. Um, once again, I'm obsessed with resin crafts and a lot of the resin crafting stuff, they don't have it in America. You have to buy it offline or you have to have like some really, really cool craft store in your area. So I just got like resin 
cleaner because resin is like it hardens and it's really sticky nasty and gross and it's kind of permanent so I don't want to get it anywhere I also love in Japan how they tape your bags closed so a nobody can reach it and steal your stuff and like your if you have like a lot of bigger items um it won't stuff won't fall out of your bag so genius also it's like a good way to show that you like purchase the stuff too which is really neat okay so I went to use Y twice while I was in Japan and I got this on the second trip I got this really pretty this is like some scrap fabric this is actually a lot more than I thought it was but it's really pretty scrap fabric I might make a scrunchie out of it I don't know I want to make something cute but I didn't buy a Japanese print with the Japanese fabric scrunchie so this is like leftover kimono fabric um or something and yay so right now kind of obsessed with hairpins because uh in Japanese culture they wear a lot of them and they look really nice and so there's also like resin crafting with hairpins and so I picked up one you can make you can fill the center with resin and then you can decorate this little part right here with beads or charms or whatever but I'm I am obsessed with these the last thing I got from Yuzawaya are these different um beaded uh trims so these are they're like I don't know how to describe it. it's like a belt so this is one of them um it's really shimmery and it's like a, a plastic backing I don't think it's an iron-on if it is that's really cool I might I might do a test and see what it does so it's got a plastic backing they're really flexible and bendy and I got one in um this star print here and then I got another one or like another yes some more in this like pearl and rhinestone situation super cool i wonder how you can attach this to things we're gonna figure out so i just got it because never seen it in america super cool the the last craft supply item i got from yuzawaya are these um little plaid circles because i thought that would make like a cute like pair of earrings or like a charm or an accessory of, on, of some sort First thing I want to say is I love how they just wrap everything and it's just such, they, the shop owners take such care in how they wrap and uh, present their um, their items. This is from the Gin Kakuji Temple. This is like the first magnet that I got. This is a, yeah, it's a magnet. Hmm. I can't, I can't read that right now. I don't, I can't, it's like, I don't want to butcher anybody's language. I get patches everywhere I go. So this is my official patch from, from Japan. I got this in Tokyo at one of the temples. Then I got this, I think this is my favorite souvenir item, is this little, from the Fushimi Inara Shrine, which was my favorite place to visit the entire trip. Uh, I got this amazing little um, keychain with the Tori gates on it. And it also has the box, which is the guardian animal or animal symbol for this temple. So, of course, knowing Marist is the red fox's had to cop. See, look, this says thank you on there. Isn't that cute? America has got to do better. So, this is a pin I got from uh, Hakone. Um, so, this is where, where I went to see mount fuji even though i technically couldn't see it from the actual mountain i saw it on the train but this is a pen i got from there because i couldn't go to mount fuji so i got this instead <laughs> so this is a kanji spelling of my name natalie so these are the different symbols in the japanese kanji it's not language but like spelling of the Japanese language and it has a stamp so I can like take it take this stamp and stamp my name on things and I'm very excited to use this because y'all know how much I love my name this is King Kakuji it's so there's King Kakuji and King Kakuji I got a pin this is also known as the if I'm not mistaken the golden temple so I got a pin from there because it's just really it's a sight to behold and also it was like 400 yen which was like not that expensive so last but not least this is actually not like a souvenir item oh wait it is kind of it is but i'll show you this is from b-side label i believe they ship to america and it says on this little card that they gave me they ship to the united states so verified um so i got two stickers from here i got this kyoto one to commemorate my time in kyoto because uh they have stores all over japan but I visited the Nishigi Market Store in Kyoto, Japan.
Much love. Adorable sticker. And then uh, the guy gave me a free sticker because he was really impressed with my usage of Japanese. So I was like, you can have a free one. So this is a sticker I got for free and I'll put it in my scrapbook. Thank you.